friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to share some tips and tricks um, with you in regards to how I stay organised because I did actually get a lot of questions in my last Q&A as well as in my videos and in my DMs um, regarding like how I balance out my work with my studies, with my personal life, with my relationships and all that good stuff. I just wanted to sort of show you and to share with you what it is that I do to make sure that I get like 100% out of my day to make sure that I am as productive as I possibly can be and over the past I would say four years I kind of feel like I've really nailed it. I kind of pride myself on the fact that I'm really good with time management, organisation, getting shit done basically. So today I want to share those tips with you. Now a disclaimer is that these may not work for you. Um, these are very individual tips so they work for me really well but I am also someone who really likes to be under pressure. I like to have a very big workload. I like to work a lot. Um, I don't mind being stressed when I know that it's going to bring me results. Um, I don't really complain about how much work I have to do often because you know sometimes it does get kind of stressful and I'm like oh you know I'm kind of like stressing out about it but in day-to-day -day life I kind of feel like I thrive under pressure and with a lot to do so you know not everyone's like that. Sometimes people just don't like um, having a lot on the plate and they would rather have a little bit less over a longer amount of time. I'm not one of those people so just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you so please keep that in mind. With all of that out of the way let me share my tips to you as to how to become more productive, more organised and make sure that you are one step closer to achieving the goals that you want especially with the new year coming up. So the number one tip that I have and that I have already mentioned in my Q&A is that I try to use every single minute of my day. That means that I go to bed quite late and that means that I wake up quite early. It's usually in the summertime about 6.30am and in the winter time it's about 7.30am because the sun doesn't rise and I personally don't work very well in the dark. Um, I feel like I should still be asleep. So once I know that the sun rises about you know 7.15, 7.30 that's when I wake up and then I work until late night and normally I would go to bed probably around 10 or 11 p.m. If I have a chill day it's probably going to be like 9 or 10 because I still like to get stuff done even on sort of a chill day. So that's usually how my sleep schedule looks and in between those times I get as much done as possible. Tying into that is step two which is plan your week accordingly. In order to be able to do everything you want to do you need to know what you're doing um, and for me um, lists work really well. My week usually starts on a Wednesday because of how my academic schedule works um, and so on a Tuesday for example if I have a free day I will sit down and uh, look at my timetable and be like okay this is what I need to get done, this is what I need to get done every single day, this is the plan and then I do it and I just go and take it off. I'm actually going to show you one of my lists um, in a minute and what that kind of looks like. Okay, so this is one of my previous checklists. It looks like this. And as you can see here, I have some ticks, which means that I have already done it. Um, on the top there it just says weekly checklist, and then I just have um, this little bracket here that says Friday material because it's from last week that I still haven't done, I still haven't caught up on because I had a really busy week, but I at least know what I am missing out on and I know the um, subjects that I need to look up and I need to sort of, you know, catch up on. So that just gives me an idea of how much work I still have to do. And then I go down and I have like Thursday and then what kind of lessons I have and what are the things that I need to be prepared for. Sometimes my lectures are live which means I don't need to prepare. Sometimes my lectures are pre-recorded which means I actually need to go in, watch the pre-recorded materials in order to know what's going on in the actual lecture. And so like I said planning out your week will just give you sort of like a glimpse over as to what that day is going to look like, what a particular week is going to look like and I think it just personally really helps me to get organised and not stress myself out because if I keep thinking oh my god I've got so much to do I'm going to get anxious, I'm going to get stressed and I'm going to end up not wanting to do any of it because it's just really overwhelming versus if I have a list I can be like oh yeah I've got a lot to do but actually four out of the five things that I have to do are you know live lectures and therefore I don't actually need to do anything I just need to attend them and so it takes off that kind of added stress and pressure on top of everything else so I just think it's a really good way to um, start your week. Again, building onto that, I like to prepare the day before. So if I know that, for example, on a Sunday, I'm going to have a whole day devoted to me just doing revision and me catching up on my work, on Saturday night, I will open up my laptop, I'll have a look what kind of lectures it is that I'm looking at, and I'll open 
open my tabs the night before just before going to bed so that in the morning um you know when I'm still kind of like sleepy a little bit maybe confused not don't, don't not quite there yet don't know what I'm doing yet I can open up my laptop and be like ah okay so this is number one this is number two this is number three this is all the tasks that I need to do today and then it gives you that rewarding feeling of accomplishment when at the end of the day you like slowly start closing up all of your tabs and that's your day done and completed um so that's what I like to do the day before so then I also save time on the morning I can just you know get my coffee and get started rather than like have a look what do I need to open where is that sometimes the lectures are uploaded to the wrong place sometimes whatever whatever I don't care because I've done it the night before just before I went to bed now in terms of when it actually comes to sitting down and doing the work and getting into the zone these are my tips for you in order to be the most focused and get the most out of it and be the most productive so the first thing would be clean environment um, clean environment in in terms of like tidy desk tidy bedroom tidy office whatever it is um, wherever it is that you are working that day it needs to be personally for me clean and tidy because number two is no distractions and to me personally a mess is very incredibly distracting I sit there and I think this shouldn't be there that shouldn't be there I should have hoovered I didn't mop what are those papers on the floor what is that is that something that I need where is that thing that I need where did I put it none of that I don't have time for that everything needs to be in the right place everything needs to be organized and everything needs to be tidy and following from that number two is no distractions and so my phone is probably somewhere far away on silent I don't like to leave it in a different room because I seem to have this thought um, like I'll be doing something I'll be in the middle of a task and I'm like oh I didn't check my phone in a while and then because I'm like oh it's in another room it doesn't matter I'll want to go and get it um, so I do like to have it near me but I like to have it not turned off but just on silent so then if I do get that urge to check it I can check it I can see on the home screen that there's nothing there and I'm like fine yep don't need to check it everything's fine don't have an urge to you know open up social media there's no notifications you don't need to do anything what can help with that is actually if you go into your settings and kind of trick your mind into thinking there's no notifications by turning them off or putting it on a do not disturb mode as well that really helps so basically it just seems like no one wants to talk to you <laughs> so all you have to do is just you know do your revision do your work because there's nothing else to do Another thing tying into no distractions is also distractions in terms of oh I forgot this, oh I forgot that, I need a lip balm, I need a hand cream, I need some snacks, I need some water, everything should already be there and I'm going to show you what my desk looks like personally um, but you will see that I have little things that you wouldn't normally associate with a working space, at least I didn't for a long time, to be there that are there. So that's the kind of thing like painkillers, that's the kind of thing like um, hand cream and lip balm and hair ties um, and anything like that, maybe some makeup makeup wipes if I feel like you know I want to take my makeup off but I don't want to go to the bathroom because I just want to be focused and I know that for some people it's like oh well just go you know like just just go and take a makeup off but for someone like me I don't want to I, I'm very easily distracted I don't want to now go and start a different task because then for example to me I'll go into the bathroom I'll start taking my makeup off and I'll be like huh I could, um, I could start cleaning up in here and I'll start doing something else because I am so incredibly easily distracted. So I know this might just be me but if you are like me then I would suggest having a little box or a little like basket like I have in the background there with everything that I might need um, so that I can just grab it right there and there. The same goes for water, the same goes for like snacks um, and anything else you might need. The next tip is that um, you should take short breaks and again for me <laughs> this is a nightmare. Um, I am not someone who likes to take short breaks but I have started doing this more and more now because I keep getting headaches on a night time if I am in front of a screen for too long. Um, I also wear glasses and my last pair had these like lenses fitted with um, a blue kind of filter so that the light from the computer wasn't affecting your head and wasn't affecting your vision too much and you wouldn't get a headache but this pair doesn't actually have that so I need to contact the people who made them and you know my opticians and then maybe send them back to have that fit but I do find that it's a quite damaging at least to me it stresses me out and then it just makes it even worse because I think I've got a headache now um, I don't like to you know take painkillers all the time every single day so sometimes I will but sometimes I'm just gonna be like I just need to take a break um, and so I just feel like a headache is gonna slow me down so I would rather prevent it rather than have to deal with it once it eventually happens so in order to do that I make sure to drink some water I make sure to have regular meals but I also make sure to take a break probably every hour um, from my studies and what I will do is just sit and this is <laughs> paired the advice of my optician is stare 
out the window at things that are very far off in the distance. Apparently this is supposed to like relax your eyes or whatever something because you've been looking at something that's super close for the past hour or maybe two so now you need to sort of change it up a little bit and give your eyes a rest. I also try to not study with contact lenses because I think um, it kind of dries out your eyes and kind of can irritate them so I normally wear my lenses when I'm out and about, when I'm around the house, when I'm doing things, when I'm filming and working but in terms of learning and in terms of revising I usually have a very comfy attire, um, you know, sweats, um, hair up, no makeup and glasses and I can just sit down and I know I'm comfy and I know there's nothing in my face, there's nothing, you know, in my eyes or anything like that and I'm just ready to learn. But yes, definitely short breaks help a lot. Um, I usually choose to have a coffee in between or maybe some water or maybe just go and, you know, socialise for a little bit. Just leave it for a little bit, maybe set a timer if you are like me who's easily distracted. Set a timer for 25 minutes to maybe, you know, half an hour and then go back and keep revising. And the last little tip that I have for you before I show you my little setup here is to think of your long-term goal and this is something that I have found incredibly useful and I found that it really helps me when I am particularly stressed and particularly um, overwhelmed. I just think like, I know this might be cliche but I literally just think what is it that you are working towards? Think about what you want to achieve, not in 5-10 years but what do you want to achieve in a month's time? in a year's time. To me, for example, um, my absolute nightmare, if you watch my channel, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, is statistics. That's why I literally have a tutor right there, appointments every single Sunday at 12 o'clock because I have to have someone explain these things to me. And sometimes I think, my God, it's so difficult. I don't get it. I just want to shut off the laptop and I just want to go in there and watch Peep Show all day. I don't want to do it. But then I think if you don't do it, what's gonna happen and what's gonna happen if I don't do it is that I'm gonna fall behind even further because the next lecture is gonna be relating to this lecture that you didn't pay attention you didn't try and understand and so you're not gonna understand that one they're gonna combine overwhelm you even more the third one is probably gonna have something to do with these two as well so then it's just gonna snowball into this huge stress ball where you're gonna be like I don't get any of it and more than likely you're gonna fail your assignment because it's gonna just be too much so if you just do this little thing now which might seem like a horror Horrible little thing and you don't want to do it but guess what if you do it you understand it you'll understand the next one and slowly but surely you'll get to your goal and if even that goal is to have a B on your next assignment you're gonna get there it's more likely that you're gonna get there doing this right now than if you're just gonna quit so that's what I normally think of so I'm gonna show you what my little setup looks like now and I'm gonna um, just basically show you what I use every single day um, and then maybe you can get some ideas as to your own setup maybe I can help someone out there okay so if you watch my video you probably recognize my background this is basically what it looks like so I'm just gonna start from here and I'm gonna tell you what it is so as always here is my brain poster and this is basically just for me when I am learning when I need a quick cheat sheet basically um, so you can see that I've got all of the brain structures I've got the lobes I've got the arteries and um, blood supply everything that I might need and also it's labelled so it's just like I said like a quick cheat sheet if I quickly need some information and it's really helpful plus it looks really cool and I just got that off of Amazon. On my actual desk I have a speaker just in case I want to listen to music or maybe sometimes you know the lectures are recorded and I can't quite hear them so depending on how bad they are I have a speaker and also my headphones right there. Now here I have my diary, I have a few of these pads that are um, like sticky notes. I think I've got this one and then also this one. And then I have a little notebook here with just like my notes in it. Um, if I don't have my big ones, this is usually what I use. I have some tape here if I need it. And then this is a really cute little set from Wilco's. It basically has everything that you might need in it. It has a little highlighter, it has a little stapler. It's literally just like a portable little set of stationery, a little bit of tape. Everything that you might possibly need is just in here and if I need to go somewhere or if I just need, you know, a little stapler. I don't have a big one so I just use this. It's really cute and I got this from Wilco. And then here I just have my normal pencil case. This is the one that I use all the time. It has colours in it because I am a visual learner. I have to have a lot of colours in all of my notes in order to be able to remember them. Um, I have some pencils and all my stationery. And then here is the big chunky, <laughs> really old as you can tell, um, pencil case and it has like my 
whiteboard markers from my teaching days it has my glues it has my wipeout it has like the chalk for this board here all of the bigger things are kind of in there and then this is what I was talking about in terms of the little things that you wouldn't normally associate with um, a working space so here is my lip balms I have some painkillers I have a hand cream I have a nail file just in case um, it's all basically just to save me going to the bathroom or going anywhere else when I don't need to just for little things that can make me get distracted. Um, and this is actually a little sleep spray. Um, it's a deep sleep pillow spray and it's basically like a lavender spray. I've had it for ages, as you can tell it's a bit monkey. But um, you just put it on your pillows and it helps you to sleep better and I just have it here because my bed's right there so then it's just easy to reach. Okay, moving on, I have all of my books that I might need, every single one um, that I kind of use, every single textbook, every single kind of helping guide out here as to how to write a thesis, how to write for academic journals, everything like that is here, so again, I don't have to get up, I don't have to look for it or anything like that. I am kind of running out of space though, so I um, might have to invest in like a little bookshelf or something of that sort. And then up here I have basically my notice board, um, so anything that I need to do and things like that are up here and then I have my little chalkboard here and then here I also like little cheat sheets so if I just need to look at something really fast and this is kind of like my cheat sheet here so I can like quickly have a look at it um so yeah that's basically that and then I have my um art my fan art and my letters from my supporters and my friends here which kind of just you know add to that overall kind of whole end idea of like who's there for you, why are you doing this, who's supporting you, who's got your back, what is your long-term goal so I just sort of you know whenever I feel down I kind of look at this and think that you know actually a lot of people are there for me if I need them to. And then I have my notebooks here so this is my newest one that I'm going to be starting soon because I've used the other ones and I always label my notebooks what months they went through um, just so I can you know easily find my information as you can see up here I am also a big fan of sticky notes that are there so then I don't have to spend ages flipping through the book and looking for a particular theme or particular subject I can literally just have a look and if I want for example EEG interpretation then I just open up here and I've got it and then of course here I've just got my laptop so this is basically what my setup looks like and I would normally have a little bit of like snacks maybe here and also my water and then I just, you know, work. So yeah guys, that's basically my setup. Again, just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone else. So, you know, maybe try it. See if you like it. If you don't like it, maybe try something else. I'm sure there's a lot of other videos as to how to, you know, maximize being productive and how to get the most done and, and how to get the most out of your day. So I'm sure you can have a look at that. But I just hope that I helped someone. I hope I gave you some tips. You know, I know that a lot of people are kind of like maybe stressed and organized, especially now with everything that's been going on this year. So I hope I could give you some interesting tips maybe you learn something new and I hope that this year this coming up year 2021 is gonna be great for you I hope it's gonna be a year of blossoming of success money flow family friends love and everything else that you may potentially want I hope so um, I'm wishing you all of that for Christmas and for the new year and also let me know if you have any more tips down below um, I am also wanting to maybe do like um, what I love for my office from Amazon so if you have anything like that if you have any kind of items that you were like I can't believe I was doing all this without this item like how how was I doing that it's a must-have for the office please link them down below I'd love to try them I hope you have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you in my next one bye